It's time to get honest about Canada's forest industry, part three. Each and every year, the Canadian government puts out a glossy report that puts a green spin on how our forests are doing and how awesome our logging industry is. Canada is misleading the world when it comes to how we're doing in forest management. Here, we explain why it matters and how we can fix it. Finding number four, Canada's report doesn't come clean about how much carbon logging releases. From piles of logging debris left behind to rot or burn, to the fossil fuels used in transportation, logging releases a massive amount of carbon. Recent research shows that when you properly account for all the different ways that logging releases carbon and the relatively short lifespan of the majority of forest products, forestry can actually be a huge source of emissions, which is bad for the climate. Canada uses sneaky math in their report. They omit the carbon released during a fire, but add the carbon sucked up by the trees that grow after the fire. This helps to cancel out forestry sector emissions and downplays the industry's overall impact. On top of all of that, logging roads and other logging infrastructure prevent forests from growing back on a significant portion of the landscape. One recent study in Ontario estimated an average of 14% of logged areas did not grow back due to roads and other logging infrastructure alone. This seriously affects the long-term ability of forests in Canada to absorb and hold carbon, none of which is reflected in the glossy State of the Forest report. In our next video, we'll touch on how the Canadian report doesn't paint an accurate picture of relationships with Indigenous peoples. Click on the link in our bio to get involved.